Hello everyone, this is something a little different from my usual stuff here. Um, I wanted to make a video about this because I have just recently finished up uh, my third college degree in engineering and um, it took me eight and a half years and I learned a lot during that process. So uh, before I got too far into work, I wanted to record something about just what I've learned during that time period and what worked and what didn't, and so um, hopefully help a couple people out. I think from uh, YouTube comments, at least two of my subscribers are engineering students, so if nothing else, I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, I certainly don't know everything. I don't, I'm not saying what I did was the right way or the best way. A lot of things didn't work out so well, but uh, I'm here. I survived, and so uh, hopefully I can share something that would be helpful for you going forward. Uh, just a heads up, this is me after I recorded all this video. The wind is pretty strong here today, so the audio is not great, FYI. Um, I'm sorry, I'll try to clean it up, but just keep that in mind going forward. I'm, I do apologize. So basically what I did was went to college for mechanical engineering, got a bachelor's degree in that. Um, stuck around for two more years to do a master's in mechanical engineering because there was more stuff I wanted to learn, um, among other things. And after one more year of uh, gap year after that, I did another master's degree. It took me two and a half years in space studies with a focus on space engineering. So, yeah, I've been in college for a little while now. Um, but I just graduated this past fall, and so... Uh, I wanted to make this video to just sort of share some tips or my experience and in a way that hopefully is helpful for other people who are also in engineering school. Or if you're in college for another degree program, um, maybe just some of this stuff is relevant to college in general. So um, yeah, I, the point of this is to be helpful to somebody. And if I can help a few people out with that here, then I'll be happy with it. So I guess the first thing that is, you probably passed this point already, but um, if you're considering doing engineering college, my main point would be to know what you're getting into. There is a lot of work involved, um, a lot of very technical content, a lot of math, and it's certainly not for everybody, but after all the math that I've had to do, I definitely don't blame anybody who doesn't want to do that amount of math in their career. Um, so just keep in mind what you're getting into, basically. Engineering is hard, but it's worth it, in my opinion. On that note, too, um, know what you want to get out of your engineering career or education. If you're doing engineering because you enjoy it and you really want to do it, that's great. You'll enjoy it. Uh, if you're doing it for money, depends on exactly what field you go into. Um, petroleum engineering is supposed to be one of the higher-paying engineering fields, but aside from that, there's easier ways to make good money, so something else to consider. Um, another thing is to know yourself. <laughs> um, it basically just figuring out what works best for you uh, might not be the same as what works best for everyone else. So, like as far as study habits, especially, is a big thing. Or even like like I was talking just talking about um, what sort of field you want to go into. There's lots of different ways to accomplish this sort of thing, and so um, there's not necessarily one right way to do it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, just keeping in general at this stage of the video, um, the big theme of engineering education is delayed gratification. Um, putting off, getting, having a good time while you're in college until you can have a better time afterwards. So. That's sort of the theme of uh, at least my engineering education. On that note, too, there's a lot of times where you just have to grin and bear it. And you don't even have to grin, really. Um, sometimes you have six hours of differential equations homework to do in two days. And you just have to get through it. So a lot of times you just have, uh, you just have to put, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like you, you just have to do it. Uh, on the plus side, though, once you start getting into the higher 
years of education, uh, the courses will get more interesting. So in my case, like for mechanical engineering, we start with basically the engineering version of physics, but eventually that gets into more specifics, the specific areas that you want to focus on. Like I did, I went for fluid dynamics, so I did a lot of fluids courses. And you can specialize that way to get, the courses will become more interesting, effectively. So in that way, it's you have something to look forward to. It's not always going to be basic linear algebra or anything like that. I mean, there is linear algebra throughout, but that's not the point. On the topic of whether or not you actually want to do this or not, the first few engineering classes I took, uh, statics, dynamics, and mechanics of materials, are basically what they call the weed-out courses, where if you're not into engineering, you probably won't enjoy those courses. So if you get through those and enjoy them, then you should be set. Um, if you don't enjoy them, it might just not be your thing. And that's totally fine, too. Um, not everybody wants to do math, and I totally respect that. And there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so start with just something that you probably heard other people tell you, too. But um, having a good daily routine and schedule it does make quite a big difference um, just in your daily life as far as managing classes and um, life outside of classes, if there is such a thing. And so you probably heard other people talk about this, but just, um, just here to reiterate that is important, or that is helpful. Maintaining a good sleep schedule. I was not very good at this, and I'm still kind of not. People will say caffeine and coffee is sort of essential for uh, completing higher education, and I won't really disagree or comment on that. Just keep in mind your overall health, and don't overdo it. If you need to take a break or find more time to, to rest, just you got to take care of your body, and uh, don't neglect that, essentially. Uh, on the topic of caffeine and sleep, sort of, is um, figuring out what works for you as far as maximizing your brain power, essentially. Um, I found that uh, meditation was actually valuable to just sort of get your head back on straight. Uh, sometimes when you're just super stressed out, you take 10 minutes even and just mentally detach from everything else. And it, that was really helpful to me. Um, just clearing your mind when things get too crazy. Similarly also, um, like when you're studying or working on homework, um, being able to utilize flow states of your brain. Basically, if you played video games, you probably know what I'm talking about, but where you're just totally in the zone and focused on what you're doing. Um, Usually good music helps with that, but um, that was valuable for me as well. Basically, you are in control of your brain, so figure out how you can make your brain work for you best. Uh, going off of that too, this is a little bit more individualized, I suppose, but um, also just keep an eye on what sort of things you're putting into your brain, too. Um, uh, this is a really specific example of this, but um, in a previous art competition that I was working on, I listened to about four hours of Muse every day to get my head in the zone of what I was working on. And I, by the end of the one-month art competition, I felt pretty terrible, <laughs> um, which went back to normal after I was done... I stopped listening to that music every day. Not that it's bad music, it's just that sort of mindset. Um, it, it, just having a more like a, I guess, cynical mindset will will affect how you're thinking every day. At least it did in my case. Um, similarly also, I used to watch the news a lot and it didn't really help me out in men my mental state, I guess I would say. So if that's... And that's a whole other topic as well. Like, There's a whole lot to talk about there. But I'll just say, be careful what you're putting into your brain because it can affect how you're thinking every day. Sort of related thing on this topic is um, if you are fortunate enough to have some time outside of work or school, um, find some stuff that is not related to engineering to do. Um, like, I, like I just mentioned, I do art projects now. I didn't do that for a long time, and it was basically just every time that I was doing something, it was engineering. And um, it can be helpful to have something that allows you to detach from work or school in that regard. So, I don't know, learn a language or 
learn an art project or an instrument. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. I'm just saying it was helpful to me. That that's sort of, again, that's sort of the theme of this whole video is this was helpful to me, so I just wanted to offer it to you. Counter example of something I did not do. Um, a lot of people suggest that between your bachelor's and master's degree to take a gap year, and so you can sort of get career experience and figure out if you really want to do a master's and such. I did not do that between my bachelor's and master's. I did take a year off between my master's and second master's, um, which was valuable. So, and it also gives your brain a little time to just cool off, I guess. Um, you'll want to like study up and make sure you're still fresh on your subject matter, but um, that is a good idea that I didn't actually really do. So something to consider at least. One other thing I would say too, and regarding um, life outside of school or work, is that it's hard to have time for a lot of friends sometimes, and especially if you're an introvert, that's like me, that's um, already tricky enough sometimes. But um, just if you have good friends in your life, make sure you make time for them because hopefully they'll make time for you as well. Another sort of psychological. Uh, tip, I, I guess I would say, is um, something actually from Dr. Jordan Peterson um, that was to take care of yourself like somebody that you're responsible for. Um, don't let yourself get too overworked. Don't stress yourself out excessively. Um, keep yourself healthy and just treat yourself like somebody who deserves to be treated. And if that involves getting help from somebody else, too, take care of yourself. Just make sure to take care of yourself. And another thing, too, um, this is obviously a much longer conversation. It's just something I definitely have to mention as my best, uh, best for last sort of thing, is that I would not be here without God's help. And I know everybody's situation is different in this regard, but there were a lot of times where I would not have made it without God helping me here. So um, just if you need help, God is there. Again, that's a much longer conversation and too much to go into right now off topic, but, but just something to keep in mind. And to close out with that, um, is, as the late, great John F. Kennedy once said, Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. So I hope that was somewhat useful for you. Um, again, this, engineering is very complex. I'm not saying I know all that's going on here um, or that I did everything right. But again, I'm alive and I got a job. So I just, um, hopefully this was helpful to somebody out there. Uh, and I wanted to re record it or write it down before I got too busy and forgot about all of this stuff. So um, hopefully, yeah, I just, hopefully this is helpful to somebody. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I wish you all the best in your engineering journey or in college of any type, wherever, whatever it might be.